I didn't see you at the party yesterday. We had a visitor, a church guest at our house. I didn't see you yesterday in the party. We had a visitor, an intruder with whom we couldn't feel at ease. The word visitor in both sentences indicate a feeling. In the first sentence, we had a visitor, a church guest at our house is a positive feeling. While in the second one, we had a visitor, an intruder is indicating a negative feeling. So one word can give a positive or a negative feeling. And this is one key that you can use when you look at the sentences that you need to fill a blank in. You need to think, do I need a positive or a negative word? This is video 39 of sentence completion or fill in the blank questions. And in this video, we'll focus on, do we need a positive or a negative word? The first example, most of the students found the lecture speech something. In fact, it was so dull that some even nodded off. Can you imagine yourself listening to somebody and you start to nod off? It means that you start to feel sleepy. So the sentence here indicates that the speech was something negative, that it made the people start to nod off. It means that the speech was not cheerful, was not lively, was not energetic, was not interesting. So we need a negative word that indicates boredom. We have the meanings here. Eliminating means giving insights and lights on something. It means something positive. Cryptic means vague or mysterious. Tedious means boring or dull or monotonous. Disjointed means unorganized. And unsettling means disturbing. Actually, we have one positive meaning, which is eliminating, and we'll cancel it. But then the other four choices are negative, but we specifically need a meaning, a negative meaning that is boring. So we'll go for tedious. The second example, the word winning novel is such tale that its very intricacy has a daunting effect on readers. So the sentence here indicates that novel has intricacy and the word intricacy means complication or complex events. This intricacy caused the readers to feel daunted and daunted means unable to understand. They are blocked from understanding. We need an adjective that indicates negatively complicated. We have the meanings convoluted means complicated or complex. Culpable means deserving plain, succinct means brief, enthralling means fascinating or attractive, and felicitous means suitable or appropriate. The discussion of the sentence would let us go for A convoluted means complicated. Example 3. African American poet Colossal Clifton writes in a notably something style, achieving great impact in a few unadorned words. The sentence here is focusing on modifying the style of the poet. This style causing the poet to achieve great impact in a few unadorned words, which means that the result of the style is positive. This also means that the style itself is positive. The adverb notably actually is a positive adverb, which means that it should modify a positive adjective. Let's go for the meanings. Incantatory means causing magic. Economical means not using much. Disaffected means dissatisfied. Unstinting means giving much. Even-handed means fair. If you look at the clue of a few unadorned words, you would go for economical, which means not using much. Example 4. The critic noted that the whatever tone that characterizes much of the writer's work stands in stark contrast to his uh, gentle disposition. 
So you need to find something to modify the word tone. And this adjective that would modify the word tone is in strike contrast to the gentle disposition of the writer himself. So we need a word that is contrasting with the word gentle. Let's go for the meanings. Belen means kind or gentle. Somber means dark or dull. Stoic means enduring pain. Conciliatory means pacifying or calming somebody or something down. Strident means harsh or forceful. If we need to think of an opposite to the word um, gentle, so we would go for strident as harsh or forceful. Hope this was helpful to you and add the new words to your vocabulary list. It would be so helpful to you and other questions. Give it a like and don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel so you would have lots of videos of language and reading skills. Best of luck.